Hey guys, and um, welcome to another episode of my channel, Totally Random. How's everybody doing? Nice day, I hope. Quick spoiler, all through the video, you're gonna see a broken nail because it just broke now. Not my fault, to be honest, not my fault. So, today is something slightly different on the channel. Um, I will be talking about relationships, but with a slight dingy twingy twist. Um, I'll be comparing real life relationships to relationships that we see on screen, that is, series. Um, you know, couples who fell in love with over the course of time of watching a particular series i'll be comparing their type of relationship to what's going on nowadays so let's do this um my first couple would be from my favorite series of all time one tree hill oh my god i love i love, I love the one tree hill oh my goodness and the couple i'm talking about first is lucas and peyton so lucas and peyton's relationship was um the elusive kind you guys probably have a crush on each other for a really long time but nobody's really brave enough to say something and when it feels like oh everything is set for you to say something something kind of goes wrong i mean peyton and lucas dated so many different people lucas dated brooke for crying out loud and brooke was Peyton's best friend so some people are in a relationship like that where um they want each other but they can't have each other either due to circumstantial differences or you know preference at the time or maybe they're dating someone else at the time so if you're in that kind of relationship hold fast stay strong at least in the end Lucas and Peyton ended up together um my second relationship is also from One Tree Hill I'm talking about none other than Peyton I keep saying Peyton you guys I'm sorry it's none other than Haley and Nathan so Haley and Nathan knew right from the start some relationship like that you meet that person and you just like yes this is who I want this one who I want to spend the rest of my life with but I don't think anybody's relationship had as many trials as you know, um, Peyton, oh, you guys kept saying Peyton. I don't think anybody's relationship had as many trials as Nathan and Haley. They had a kid really early. Nathan had that injury. Peyton lost her parent. You guys, I'm going to punch myself if I say Peyton one more time. Haley lost her parents, you know, but in the end, they're there for each other. They stand the test of time. And another thing I loved about Haley and Nathan was he was the classic bad boy. I mean, he was sleeping with everybody on campus in high school then, but... He met Haley. his grades came up, he became faithful, he became loyal, so some relationships are like that where he's the total bad guy, he's the bad boy package, but once he meets the one, he just changes, he becomes a homeboy, he likes to go out less, he sleeps around less, you know, that sort of thing. If you have that kind of relationship, hold fast, whatever trials are coming your way, you will pull through. My third relationship is from another personal favorite series of mine, Arrow. I'm talking about none other than Oliver and Felicity. So with Oliver and Felicity, hmm, that kind of relationship, both of you are kind of skeptical. You people are dancing around each other. Nobody really wants to say, oh, I like you because they're scared of what the other person feels. And obviously, Felicity had liked Oliver from the beginning and Oliver also liked Felicity, but circumstantial um differences you know put them apart because Oliver was being the arrow. He didn't know how to do with Felicity. Some people are in a relationship like this where maybe one person likes or one person seems to like the other more but it's not always like that sit down talk have a discussion you might just find out that the reason he or she is being called to you is because probably they're scared or they think um um that it can't work out or for some weird reason just sit down talk have a conversation i mean nobody thought felicity would ever get to be with oliver but look at how we ended up they got married i mean hello oh my god oliver is just <gasps> dreamy <laughs> My fourth relationship has to be Derek and Meredith from Grey's Anatomy. I mean, I love the yeah, love. It was strong. It was, it was quirky. It was funny. I mean, right off the bat, they knew. Like straight up, it was like love at first sight or first sex. I think <laughs> because you remember in the beginning, Meredith actually slept with Derek before she figured out he was her boss. So some people have notions like this where you're just happy. He's funny. She's nice y'all just click and that kind of relationship is one i think we all pray for even though keep in mind derek and meredith had their ups and downs but even with all those ups and downs there was never a moment when anybody ever said oh i don't love you it was just i love you but things are not working out the way i want them to work out so my prayer for everybody watching this is <laughs> you find your derek aka <sighs> my dreamy and you find your Meredith with a little more flesh around her hips because personally I think Meredith was way too skinny. That's just personal preference. And my very last relationship is the one that has all the eyebrows raising. It is <laughs> the relationship between Olivia Pope and the 
president of the United States of America. Scandal, 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 scandal. So, so I was like this kind of relationship. Personally, I've been in this kind of relationship where it had to be only you and the nigga that knew y'all were dating because if the whole world found out, girl, you're going to be in deep pile of shit. I mean, this kind of relationship is one where probably um he or she is in another relationship. So, if you guys come out in public, y'all go be casted. This kind of relationship that is on the lowest of keys i mean nobody can know you guys are dating it's good you guys bring out the best in each other but because of how society is set up or because of you know the way the relationship started it's not something that should be happening but oh my god the wrongest things always feel right i mean nobody gets the president like olivia nobody so i mean if you're in this kind of relationship my dear pray to god pray to god that he either leaves the other woman for you or you stop feeling the way you do or God just sends some clarity your way you know just to make you know that okay should we keep hiding should we make this official should we come out in public but usually when you come out in public relations like that it does more harm than good so you guys are on the download secret dates secret hookups you can't text each other in public you can call each other in public if you see each other in public you have to pretend as if things are just normal professional but behind closed doors some actions going on some really really good action so guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, I'm trying to be a lot more quirky and fun and less rigid with all my top picks. So if you're in any of this relationship, please feel free to comment what category you fall under. Please like, subscribe, and you know share with anybody you can. Let's, let's help my movement. Let's help me move forward. Thank you so much, guys, for all the love and support I've been getting constantly. God bless. And until I come your way again next week, do have a nice day. Bye.